right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. Uh, this is to replace one of the tutorials that I watched. A good example that you would want to use this uh, tool for is if you do collabs with other VTubers. If you have a like mini character that you want to represent them with instead of doing the little discord bubbles in the top right corner wherever you put it on your stream, you can use these instead. If I mute on discord, it doesn't go off. And then if I unmute, there you go, it goes off again. And to get started, you are going to be needing this Discord stream kit overlay for OBS and XSplit, which I'll be putting in the um, description below. You'll also need to make sure you put your uh, Discord in developer mode as well. So we'll do that ahead of time. What you're going to do is you're going to hit the cog wheel on the bottom left and you're gonna go to advanced and you're gonna make sure that this over here, developer mode is checked off. Uh, what you're gonna do on stream kit is you're gonna hit install for OBS. Then you're gonna go under voice widget. So in order to set up this reactive collab PNG tuber, you need to have administration um, privileges in the server that you're in. So you would select the server that you want. So in my case, it would be my own server and then I have a secret super secret room uh, make sure that the hide names is selected and you're going to input a new browser source into your OBS okay so once you're on OBS you're gonna hit the plus sign you are going to add browser source create new I normally like to label it after whoever Whoever's PNG that I'm gonna do this in, so we'll just say mine for now. Hit Chibi Joe, and then you're going to paste the URL into this top part over here and hit okay. So, pretty much what we're gonna do now is we're going to do a lot of copy and pasting, and this will involve you going into your Discord and copying a couple ideas and URLs. So I currently have a channel that I put all my chibi PNGs in, even if my friends send them to myself, I like to upload them here. And so that way I have a whole master list of PNGs that I can just look through to take a PNG that you'd like to. So we're going to redo mine. I'm going to go ahead and right click uh, my idle one and I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to be pasting it into a master code that will that I will have a link to in the description. Also, side note, you don't need to have a entire um, channel to have all the PNGs in. If someone sends it to you in a direct message, you can right click it as well and make sure to click copy link. On the screen right now, we have a notepad with the custom CSS code that we're going to be pasting in the same browser source that we put the stream kit URL in. So I'm going to have this in the link in the description and you're going to be able to copy and paste this into your own browser source uh, CSS area. And what it's going to have is there's going to be areas where you're going to put in the Discord URL uh, image link for the idle PNG or GIF. So we're going to do that one first. I'm gonna go ahead and take this copy link, which I did earlier, and I'm going to paste this into said area. And then I'm going to take the open mouth, I'm gonna copy link, and I'm gonna paste this into the Discord URL link for talking PNG or GIF. It works for either one. Uh, I personally would do PNG unless you do have a GIF file. Paste that in there. And then once you're done with that, we're going to grab the Discord user's ID number. So mine would be, if I right click on myself, you can either do it here or if you see someone else's like in your voice channel, you're gonna right click it, click copy ID, and you're gonna paste that here. It is probably easier to put this in a notepad first or whichever notepad um, program you have on your computer and then copy everything. And now we're going to go over to OBS. 
we are going to go to Chibi Joe, right click properties to go back here. And in the custom CSS area, we are going to paste everything that we took from the notepad. And then we're going to hit OK. And let's see. Sometimes you might not see it, so you would have to play with the height and width. There you go. It should be working now. And now she moves whenever I talk. All you would have to do to get other VTubers PNGs on there is just to copy and paste and repeat the cycle for each one. Uh, once you have it on OBS, you won't have to put it back on again. So even if they're not in the voice channel, the PNG should just go away. If I did skip any parts or something seems unclear, please do let me know. Uh, pretty much all of this should be copy and paste. And I'm hoping to get a code link generator out sometime soon. So that way it's easier to just enter in your, um, your links and not have to worry about it. Well, that's pretty much it. If you have any further questions, comment down below. Uh, like, maybe subscribe. Uh, I'll try to do more VTubing friendly videos in the future. Thank you.